Guys, it's been a long time coming, but in one minute, the rally car is finally here. The car was released for the first time 20 years ago. It's being brought back today. Three, two, one. And the updates here. Here we are. So play, campaigns, rally discovery. Let's have a look, everybody, at how the rally car handles. Should I try on keyboard first, I wonder? Keyboard is my device, after all. I do also have my flight stick. But I think we'll start on keyboard and get a feeling for how the car behaves just regular. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here we are. Okay, okay. Keyboard. Nothing else. Just trust the old keyboard tippy taps. Okay, it feels very responsive. As expected. It feels very responsive. Oh, and... Oh, stadium car feels so slow now. But these are new blocks as well. These are very reminiscent of the old dirt blocks in Trekmania. And I'm also curious how easy the metals here are. See, that shouldn't have been an Othmel, and I agree, and I'm glad they didn't give it to me. Now, I'm gonna bind, and I'm just gonna use action key 2. For 40% steering with this car. I think that's around the sweet spot for no slides. If you're a keyboard player and you're on dirt or road, 40% steer is probably the best you're going to get. So things like here. And I'm releasing a bit. I'm not going full speed, but the turns are already significantly better. Because the only way to really gain a lot of time with this car is to not slide. But if you can use only one or two action keys and completely solve all the problems of keyboard, then I don't think this is going to be that bad. Yeah, like, see, this is fine. I'm, I'm driving quite fast for keyboard here. Getting good no slides. I forgot there was a rally car at the end. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> the switches. You know, this is, this is one thing I'm noticing already that I feel is that these rings need to be more visible. There need to be, like, an on-screen warning. Changing car in three, two... One, because if you don't see these, you're just going to be thrown off the track, like, immediately from the new steering. There should be a bigger, like, visual, you are heading for a thing. I got the off metal on it with keyboard. Back to keyboard for this map. Shorter map this time. Okay. I do already feel that to get good times, you're going to need to use action keys. N no doubt about it. At low speed, it seems to be action key three. And at higher speed, action key two. That's what I would recommend. But for turns like this, action key two, 40% steer, is basically as sharp as you'd, you'd want to steer for the most part. Go first person. Oh, it's the same kind of camera as the snow car. Yeah, I really like camera one on this. Like, the distance to the car feels perfect. Okay, so that was with action keys. Also, for people asking me about the painted nails, I painted them with my friends. When I was in uh, LA for Streamer Words. We all got our nails done together. Oh, sausage rally. Okay. This is interesting. And a little hard to control, I think. Again, just using joystick. Now, okay, this is something I was super curious about. So this update, it did not just bring the rally car, it also brought the new action keys, right? Basically, the old action keys was the green line. So if you ever steered beyond 60% to the side, it would just ignore everything over 60. Now the entire range is zero to 60 when you activate action key three. So 60 is all the way sideways and halfway to that is 30%. So you have a bigger analog range. I'm gonna try this on this map on both keyboard and joystick. Now I'm in action key three. And I'm wondering if I want it even like action key four because this is suddenly very smooth. I mean, this is very smooth. Almost too smooth. Yeah, you wanna go inside on this? Okay, wait. So that is altered. What if I do action key four? It's smooth. It's too smooth. <laughs> Goodbye, keyboard players. I don't know if it's that bad yet. 
So far, not that bad. This turn though on keyboard, I can see being very hard because even on joystick, I'm sliding out. This one as well. Can I get this full speed? Yes, look at that. This is the kind of thing that is going to be very hard to replicate on the keyboard. Just a perfect no slide, smooth, taking the sharpest curve you can that the turn allows. And of course, there's more bumps to avoid and everything, but... But yeah, I've given up on learning this game. I'll be a watcher. I mean, the curve is a bit steep, but I think it's just like... Oh, this is might, might be just a regular map. Okay, back to keyboard. <laughs> the curve might be a bit steep, you know? But it's also like a cool challenge if you play the game and it's been the same for a lot of years. To uh, see if you can learn something new. Because I think, for the most part, if you want to avoid rally car and stuff, you can. And if you just want to play stadium car, there's all these new, like, castle roadblocks, like here. To experiment with as well. And this is cool. This is reminiscent of old dirt. And it has this... It's actually really well designed. Because it has this slight outside pull. Like these white edges. It's almost like driving an outside dirt line. So it helps pull you through a turn. If it didn't have that, if it was perfectly flat, this would be a lot less pleasant to play. But these blocks actually assist you in getting a clean turn. Which is nice. Plus plus for that. But Shorty has a lot of good records already. I wonder if he... Because um, Shorty is part of the alpha testers. So I do wonder if... Uh, He's already played these before. Like, before these came out publicly now. Or he might just be, like, instantly picking things up. This is just regular keyboard, by the way. What I'm driving right now. He did? Okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, small reactor. Okay, that was first try author note. So if you're playing this and going for the authors, they might not be too hard. You cannot slide on wood. That's the thing. So it will start tilting on wood. You see this? But the car will never slide. That I actually do like a lot. And maybe this is something that should be done in mapping more. The car really struggles to slide on wood, and that's good. Yo chat, what is this car? This is the new rally car. And this entire campaign is basically made to discover the rally car and the blocks that... ...was released with it. So these blocks are all new. The rally car is all new. Ooh. Big brake tap necessary there. Same here. This is a really technical dirt map. It might be the case that all these rally dirt maps are going to be very technical. Just from what I know now, this is a map I struggle to see keyboard being competitive on. But uh, a good strategy, trying to get good times on, on maps like this, is slow down a lot before the turn. So much so that you can no-slide through the turn. Uh, and then... Do that all the way. I'm not used to this type of driving. So it's a little awkward for me to try, but... That's what I've seen the top players do. In older Trackmania Rally stuff. Did you get an ultimate here? Nice map. Is there a new surface? No new surfaces. But we have seen- this is plastic, and we have seen the rally car acts a little different on plastic. Oh, so I wonder- I'm gonna go back to keyboard. I wonder if this is built to showcase the differences between... Trek- like, regular plastic, and now you go... no. Or? Okay, just rally on sand. Rally the car. These are new blocks too, these uh, roadblocks. This map honestly didn't teach me much. I have not learned much from this. Can you show inputs? Uh, I can show the keyboard inputs, but I keep switching so much back and forth. That there's not much... Um, they're not gonna always be accurate. And I haven't updated Open Planet, so dashboard doesn't work. Because I just wanted to get in. So yeah. Ooh. 
another Othmo. 4 p.m. is how much longer from now, chat? This is the campaign. You're, you're seeing it right now. These are the new rally blocks and rally driving. 4 p.m. is already here. So you've shown up at the perfect time. Ooh. Oh, this map feels, again to me, like joystick abuse. Or analog steering abuse. Oh, and that turn I'm interested in looking at. This should not be an ultimate. Okay, I like the level of these so far. You need a somewhat clean run, but you don't need to be a rally god to get the other medals. But I wanted to see this turn over here again, because this one... I'm not sure if you want to take it that high on the wall. I don't think you do. So I think you want to break and then try to get the, uh, the full road. Or maybe you cut on the inside, actually. Oh, that seems a lot more natural. So you can see just how slippery this is, but here? I wonder if you just go here and then try to get this. Maybe that still cuts too much and loses too much speed. Oh, yeah, I'm sliding all over the place. I'll have to figure it out later, but that is another off -mail. Curious to see plastic. I'm curious to see ice. These are the things I'm looking forward to. The most. This almost looks like those uh, rally maps in the old game. Like very reminiscent of the style with just dirt roads curving in this way. Could actually be a remake, but I do not know the United campaign well enough. This should be first try Othmel. This should be. Oh, it's not. You just play this? No, this is not the same map. If it is, then that's crazy. It's similar. You're just not tapping fast enough? But how... I think what we're seeing is experience on keyboard versus just control on analog steering. I mean, I got a 28.4 here or something. That's not that bad. 28.3. It is C1? No, I mean... No, it's not the same. It has a lot of similar features, but it's not the exact same. It's... it almost looks like it's based on it, though. Look at the map name? <laughs> oh! Okay, so we did play this today. It's not the same type of turn... like, the turns are a little different. What is this one called, then? Two laps, two cars. Ooh. So, am I gonna drive this on joystick? Let's try. I don't think I'm that good with stadium car on joystick. Oh my... the car has no turning ability. Like, I have to force it. Guys, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna go back to keyboard. You're finding that Action Key 3 works best? I think it's either Action Key 2 or 3. Depending on the speed. Maybe even Action Key 1 at certain times. Okay... Ooh. I just want to see it with the rally car. This is really not fast enough, but here we go. So you probably have to... Oh, no, this was... The thing about the action key stuff is it's... It's very hard to know which action key you're in. And so you can very easily get confused. 
Like, you tap it twice, and then it's like, oh. Now I'm in full steer, now I crash. This map is definitely the hardest one yet. Definitely. Can you air brake with this car? No. But you can do a left right. Which does stop rotation the same way. If you spam left and right in the air, it stops the car from pitching down. So you can effectively get an air brake. Yeah, to beat the ultimate on this map, you just gotta be very careful in this turn. Crashing in the uphill there really destroys your speed for the next lap. And then you gotta be very careful in this turn. Slow down a bit. Then the next ones are quite doable. Action key three to your keyboard. Tippy tops. Always slow down before the corners. Oh. Or else you'll fly out at the exit of them. And then I could get a 55 here. Okay. That's oh, a 57? Okay, that's quite leaning, actually. That is better than I thought. Uh, already, though? Huh. I'm noticing some weird slowdowns in the start of those dirt blocks. I wonder if it's because I'm hitting the hill? And the hill has, like, a different acceleration? But that is interesting to me. And I can- I- I'm- I'm betting that Couple Today will feature some blocks like this. Couple Today today will be wild, guys. I haven't played Couple Today in over a week, or maybe even two now. And this is gonna be my first one back. Probably with the rally car, probably with these blocks. But yeah, if you drive clean, you can take these last corners somewhat safe. And you're still gonna get the medal. 55. Next one. Bobsleigh Rally. Is this gonna save Bobsleigh? What's going on here? Okay, so driving straight. Also ice, by the way. Is it like the snow car? This is the first thing I want to see, if it's like the snow car at all. No. So the snow car thrives sideways. This one looks like it doesn't. But the wall. You want to steer at all. Maybe. But this feels clean, though. Pop an action key, action key one or two. And this feels quite smooth. It, it has more control than regular ice. I can actually, with this, see ice... Rally ice full speed being a style. Because... The problem with, um... The problem with the regular ice full speed maps is that you don't have enough control, but now you might- Does it ice slide? It does not, but you can steer sideways. There's a later map that probably shows it. That we saw in the trailer. But on this map, it's just about... Clean lines. Wait, so... What do I do when I'm, like, going down this? How do I, um... Prevent this from happening? Oh, you might- yeah, when you put the car sideways, it actually goes that way. The best you can do is just not steer. With Reactor 2? I think so. Yeah, you have to get a small, like, uh... Sideways thing like that. Oh, I lost speed. This might be enough for author though. Yes, it is. Map. What was this? Dirt 2024. I think it's like map 15 or so. It could also just be map 11. I have lost track of how far in we are. So this is just a regular dirt map. Uh-huh. Regular dirt map, new blocks, okay. Yeah, I mean, dirt now is gonna be... Honestly, higher skill ceiling. Higher skill ceiling and a lot more difficult. 
Because you can no slide all over the place in these. You can take ex extreme risks with inside lines around these castle walls. It feels a little like older. Which is a plus plus for me. I think dirt in TM 2020 feels a little repetitive with only outside lines. So if a map that is dirt now has like a little bit of both, I think that's a sweet spot. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, that's not even an author. The turns come at you so quickly here. Like it, it really takes some getting used to just how sharp the turns are. I keep bringing it up, but it's like really aggressive turns. Like this one. This is barely off an pace. Yeah, that beat the ultimate by a tenth. It's a 0. 0.6 here. 34.6. How different is the handling on the rally compared to the snow car? I'd say it's like 50% more sensitive to your input. Oh, this is wet tires rally. Okay. I mean, it's going to slide all over. <laughs> this is another uh, joystick map, I'm pretty sure. And the player you see in rank 1 here, Hawk, is a player you might see a lot more at rank 1, because he's one of the best rally players. Hawk and Nico might be players you're not too familiar with from before, but if these guys now start playing this game, you're going to see them on a lot of leaderboards on rally car maps. I'm using a uh, flight stick right now. I'm, keep, uh, I'm keeping switching a bit between the two, just to see what I prefer. So far, I'm very much so more comfortable with the flight stick for the rally car, but it's hard to switch between these in, in a run. Like you go from stadium car to, uh, to to rally car, it's very hard to do both in the same run. Yeah, I mean, I could probably do a 30 here with some practice, but that should be out there. Whether they keep adding rally car or keep adding new cars, it's to provide new content, new uh, new experiences, and I think it's kind of cool. I don't think it's necessarily bad. I just think if you add something like this, you also need to give players tools to deal with them because it is really difficult. And they have added stuff for analog players now, but keyboard will still have the same five action keys. I think that might not be enough. We'll see. This turn is insane, though. I mean, this is, <laughs> you have to slow down so much. Okay, so you do want to drift this, I think, and then... Yeah, so now we see, like, the type of crazy maps you can get with this, where the cars just keep switching back and forth. I think that's what this one wants to demonstrate. Snow car. Hello. Rally car, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there was like eight car switches on this map. And the thing is, is like, we saw this with the, um, with the snow discovery campaign. Something very important to remember is that these maps tend to just show off what's possible, but the community often finds like better ways to build things. For example, in the snow discovery campaign, there was a lot of like snow car, no slides on dirt. And the community eventually realized, like, okay, snow car is fun, but this is not where it's most playable and most approachable. So there's not that many snow car, dirt, no slide maps outside of the um, snow discovery campaign. People will probably end up building maps and the maps you see in Couple of the Day and stuff that are more, more approachable. These are just like all over the place. So yeah. Snow car full speed. No, uh, rally car full speed. Okay. I vibe with this so far. Holy. I'm not making that. 
your issue is that rallying snow cars seem to be so similar it's all about no sliding they are different they are uh quite different in how they they handle but uh no sliding is a thing that's kind of prevalent in all the oldest strike mania cars but they start sliding at different points and at different speeds and with different inputs this author time? I doubt it. It is not. So that grass part is very important. These new cars suck and made me quit the game. It's been like 40 minutes since the update. I think that's too early to call it. I think everyone should give them a try. I mean, keyboard or analog, whatever. Do give it a try. Might not be your cup of tea. I don't know if it's going to be mine. Some people haven't fully learned the first card. That is true. And that is something I think a lot of old old players and longtime players should remember. When they say things like, yeah, just learn the car. Like, a lot of people find the stadium car to be too responsive. And just crash every wall with the stadium car. If that's you, then that's okay. But people are like, damn, you just gotta play the rally car and you'll learn it. And people are struggling to control the stadium car. I am an actual skill issue here. But it's okay, because we're all learning together. We're all learning how to control this car together. And what I have realized is I need to be... Steering quite sharply onto the grass, but still getting the snow slide. Like this. This is what I've been chasing for like 10 minutes now. And there we go. Huge speed to the finish and the off melt. Next map, Dirt Rally. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ow. If this is just a full rally map, I am already a fan. Okay, little hard control, we're working on it. Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> but I think what I have to just realize is this car, you need to tap brake more than on stadium. I just have to get this into my head. You Like on stadium, you kind of expect that like if it's not a drift, you're able to get through mostly fine, but here, just like in real racing, you kind of have to tap brake a lot before a corner to make it. Else you slide. You're just too fast. Like you have to release a lot, you have to brake a lot. There's a lot of acceleration control, which is something that Trackmania doesn't really have that much of. Because, um, I mean, we don't use like like in sim racing, they use analog acceleration. Where the more you step on a pedal, the more you accelerate. Check me, it doesn't really need that. It's just go. Opinion on the car so far is good? Uh, I, I like it. Do you believe they should separate the cars like in United? I don't think so either because United kind of failed for that exact reason. You might not know, but Nations Forever is free to play, right? And it was hugely successful in 2008. Because it was just like, oh, here's a cool, awesome racing game you can download for free and play with your friends and play online servers and play LAN parties and stuff. But Nadeo kind of offered so much good content for free, and the content you could get by paying were things like Rally and Desert and Snow Car and stuff, which were okay, but the Stadium Car, objectively, to most people, is the most fun, the easiest to learn. So people just didn't pay, and it caused Nadeo to almost go bankrupt. And that's when they were bought up by Ubisoft. If not, Trickmania as a franchise would have probably died them. And then the first thing Ubisoft did was add something called Free Zone, where even if you played Nations Forever, the free one, every fifth round you played online, you had to wait. And paying for United got rid of that limitation. So Ubisoft was straight up just like, yeah, you're giving out too much for free and people are not paying. <laughs> Back to my point, that all that essentially caused Rally and these other environments to not be as much played. And so then, in the years that followed, like, 
all the world championships and most of the big competitions were just hosted in stadium because that's the car that people associated most with Trekmania. <laughs> playing controller and no, I'm playing joystick. That's what I'm trying to learn uh, for this car. And for the snow car. It's like if there's a campaign map with the snow car or the rally car, I can control it using this and show you. This is what I'm playing with. It's a flight flight simulator joystick. I'm just trying to smoothly turn to get these no slides. But uh, it's a little not used to it yet. Might need to fully commit to it more. But it does work out quite well for this car. Yes, brake more. Oh, look at that. This is exactly what I wanted. No. Oh, please be a point three or whatever. Point two. We got there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, awesome. Oof. Okay. This is a tough car to control. Yeah, the reason I want to try to learn flight stick and not controller is that um, when you do it with a joystick, you control it with your entire dominant hand versus your left thumb. And for me, I think I'll have better control that way. Is keyboard officially dead? No. No funeral yet. But, um... But I am interested to see over the next days what the top keyboard times will be on different maps. I mean, am I ever gonna get used to this? This is so weird. Oh, not so slippery. Okay. I'm just wondering if I'm ever gonna be able to get used to, um... To stadium car with joystick. This is honestly weirder than controlling the rally car, any input device. <laughs> this is very awkward, the steering. And I might have to if I'm gonna use it proficiently with maps that have car switches and stuff. Okay, we got through. Why flight stick over analog keyboard? Not decided on that yet, either. I could use analog keyboard. Maybe we'll try that for this map. With the new action key status. Do I have them all bound? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I do. This is regular taps, and now... If I do this... Wait. No, but these are old. I don't know if you can see this. But I'm barely pressing it and it hits 20. And I can still press it more. So the action key change is not in effect yet. Oh, it's because I'm stadium car. False alarm. Okay, all right. No, that, that is weird though, but okay, false alarm. So now... Wait, now I'm still- now I'm using- I mean, okay, now I'm using regular action- what is- <laughs> But this is- this is gonna be more confusing, no? It doesn't apply to regular stadium car, only the, the rally car. I think they did it that way to keep stadium car or stadium mostly the same, mostly unaffected by these changes. Yeah, so- yeah, so now it's- wow. Okay, I need to be on alert. Let's try this turn. So here? New action key, break. I mean, maybe? I think what I see myself doing is, if a map has like, majority stadium car parts and there's like one rally car turn, I'll analog keyboard that. But it feels a lot more jank than, um, than just using a joystick. I can tell you that already. Trackmania is getting crazy complex, because think about it, if you add one new car, it's not just that you're adding, like, one new thing to learn. You're adding the new car and all its intricacies. So, the new car with wet wheels, the new car on ice, the new car on grass, the new car on plastic. You're adding all these interactions. Okay, you're playing a map and you're going from stadium car to rally car, how does that affect your lines, you know, like... There's so many intricacies to pay attention to if you just add one car. And if you don't add like four, there are so many variables that the game can quickly just become like completely overwhelming.
that is a good ice thing. And then... I just dropped my gear and lost... So much time. We are free! Oh my god, okay. I think I'm gonna go back to controller or analog input. Keyboard was exceptionally difficult. That was just done with regular action keys. But that was, that was stressful. That was not that enjoyable. Okay, so I think this map 18. Okay. Wet, underwater, plastic, rally. Rally Atlantis. This turn, I have to break so much. Guaranteed. Yeah. I like how the car sinks. One thing that's super annoying about stadium car with pools is that it always tries to float. It'd be a lot better if the car just sunk. Like this one. Because I don't think it can water bounce. There was a time in 2020 I wanted to learn controller, yes. But I quickly gave it up because I realized I didn't want to be a controller player. <laughs> Had I done it, then I probably would have learned it. Given enough time, but... Oh, you can... <gasps> You can no slide this if you steer like 15%. That is kind of disgusting. Okay. I mean, yeah. I think this is one of the most analog abuse turns yet. And then now, I should be able to leave this turn if I want to. But I'm not. I'm stuck. That's a little weird. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. I don't understand. I'm not going to try to no slide now. I'm just going to not fight the turns and just slide. This car wants to slide. We're going to slide. Yeah. I want to I want to escape. Thank you. This car almost seems to get stuck to plastic in a way. Okay. Oh, Nadeo. That's not Arthur Mello? Okay. All right. I thought I'd succeeded. I was already celebrating. How about this then? Boom. Yeah, now this is good. Oh. See, here I'm just sliding on purpose. I don't think I can prevent it. That's top five. I don't think you can prevent the slides here, guys. But wet rally is not going to be my favorite style, that's for sure. Couple of days isn't likely to have rally. Oh, it's very likely to have rally. Uh, they've said that both track of the day to today and tomorrow will contain something with the new update. And here we have ice. Ice rally. Which also feels quite nice on analog. On joystick. This is the turn from the trailer. And then there's a the right turn over here. Honestly cool. Wait, I am so slow. People have a 35? Wait, wait, wait. What? Now this feels keyboardy. Yeah, maybe this is more keyboardy. Not that keyboard gains time, but like 
quick steering movements. Maybe Ice Rally is uh, where Keyboard at least is equal, if not um, maybe even better. Do a 360, I don't think it will ever pay off with this car. Unless you have like a very specific circumstance that requires it. This has to be all the time, because I said so. It's not. And I'm still three seconds from world record. Okay. All right. Good to know. Lots to learn. That's the way you gotta see this. If you ever feel so far behind like this, you just gotta think, damn, I still have a lot to learn. Can still get a lot better at this. Good start. Let's see what this is. Uh, has this map been shortcut? Because Hugo is an eternity ahead of Roa. And Hugo is a really good khaki player. There's also a map from the trailer where they did this. Let's see if that's the case here. If you want to do the same. Yeah, it's the same type of a pattern. Like you, you no slide where you can, and you do this to get through a turn. And then it's back to no slides. And then here, probably. Wait, no. A wall hug. Okay, I see this. And then you go sideways, and then back to straight. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's comical. Comical plastic bounce. What about on a wall? Same thing? Kinda? And this would be a what? A 43. Okay. No, this first turn is just a full no slide. I am not seeing things. Keyboard in 2024. Gain two seconds. Ah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But here I slide. We don't want to slide. It's unfortunate. Then I'm wondering. Yeah, okay, so you do wanna, I think, full sear through those. And then simple process here again. Tap, 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 tap. And up. And we're probably getting a silver medal for this amazing performance. It's a gold, okay. Now for comparison in the start. The joystick. Let's see which we would, would rather want to play. Instead of having to tap like a maniac, I think I can just cruise this at like 30% steering. Can you only access 20% increments on keyboard? Uh, yes, you cannot go to 30%. You used to be able to, but uh, they removed five action keys. So at the start, it was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Percent steer, and then they went to 20, 40, 60, 80. Removed five of them. And a lot of people have now asked for the other action keys back, because uh, that would actually make this a lot better. It's one of the simplest things Nadeo could do as well, I think, to give keyboard players some more control. And then you just bind the ones you want. Like, you don't have to bind all of them, even if there are 10 that exist. So I don't necessarily think that's that bad of a suggestion. 
Uh, the records here look really close. Oh, is this the one from the trailer? I think it is. With reactor flights and stuff. Oh, okay. This is unique. Precise rally. In between a bunch of mountains. Oh. Okay, I need to respawn this. What is going on here? It's the same kind of movement. Question is if you want to break. And no slide. Okay, let's see if we can enable the metals widget thing. This author metal I'm suspecting might be a 41. It is a 41. Okay. All right. These author metals might be tough, guys. But yeah, guys, getting all author metals, especially if the last map is like this level of driving in three minutes. Whew. That's going to be tough. Let's see. Set up wide. Slow down. No, there's like no way to keep this car. Um... No, so you just have to flick into the turn. It, it looks like. Oh, 44. Okay. Okay. The gold is very doable. The author metal looks messed up. These author times are significantly harder than regular campaign ones. So if you're trying to go for all author metals in this campaign, do you know that you're in for a bigger challenge than the usual Nadeo campaigns? I can get half a second here. Okay, that's actually quite promising now. Then here, flick. Okay, not the greatest flick. Oof. Crashed a bit. Yeah, one second behind, okay. Are speed slides a thing on Rally Car? No. For most old environments, it's not. I know it's a thing on Island. One of the oldest cars. And on Canyon, it's a thing. But for most old Trickmania cars, they all have like one thing in common, and it is no sliding is king. It's the main strat to gain time everywhere. King. Wait. Okay, 4146. Okay. Now I I made the right call. Look, I made the right call. I was risking so hard. 48 minutes a couple of days, yeah. I think I'll play it on joystick. I'm not that consistent at joystick yet. If it has car switches though, I don't know. But I really do wanna play it on joystick. It's just like, I feel I'll get Division 5 or something <laughs> on joystick. And keyboard is maybe a safe Division 1. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. That was nice! That was really nice! We got the other metal. I am quite confident, by the way. I saw so many people suggest maybe you should break and slow down in that reactor turn. I'm quite confident in saying that the reactor turn is quicker. And now the flick. No? No? Really? Second black map. Mixed stage. Uh, that is worrying already. <laughs> Because if it's mixed, that means car switches, and it means chaos. But okay. Up here. Again, another ridiculous author time, I gotta say, but... It's fine. We're, we're here to learn. So 
so no steering in the bobsleigh. Yeah, icy, icy tires work the same. They do make you slide out. And then what's here? Wood again means... Honestly, wood with rally car is the most satisfying thing so far. It's like you have a little bit of a shield and the slide out area is only around like 60% steering. Oh, I thought this was a hug. It was not. This is a hug though. Okay, cool map. We get silver. But this is a suspicious author time because it's 55 flat. Did Tona actually drive 55 flat or was it just put like this? Is this just a modified author time? A little suspicious. Oh, this is good. Yeah, there's gonna be a second ahead. Oh, I'm getting caught up to. <laughs> I, I don't understand where I'm losing two seconds yet. Would you not revisit an old video after 5-10 years if the world record history progressed massively? I think there's just so many more topics to cover though. Like people often say like, oh virtual. You made a 20 minute video about AO7 and now it got beaten by one hundredth. You should make a new video about this. And like, what would I do? Tell the same story, but add one record? You know, it's like, I kind of prefer making videos, at least for now, about stuff I haven't covered yet. There's no, there's no shortage of stories to tell. But maybe if there's like huge discoveries that, you know, are interesting to talk about. Oh no. This was so beautiful. Maybe? Yes! One more in the bank, three left to go. And guys, we still have 16 minutes left of Kirby music. Life's great. Oh, snow car. This car is a jump scare now. I'm so expecting the shape of the other car that this car feels like what is going on. Please don't put the stadium car. Only the new cars. Make it joystick playable. No new car. No, no stadium car. Because so far I'm a big fan. Yes. A lot of people ask what's the difference between rally and snow car. And they're honestly not extremely different. It's just snow car you have more room to steer without sliding out. I mean this map's wild. This map is really wild. Okay, I got only six seconds behind. Snally. We are not gonna call this style Snally. We need the naming police to intervene. That is the worst name I've heard. Our Renau is probably better. We, we need, need the, the naming, naming police, police to, to intervene. intervene. That, that is, is the, the worst, worst name, name I've heard. heard. Good progress. As in like the first 20 seconds, I think I have it pretty much figured out. But the last 35, I'm not sure about. <laughs> oh 
Oh, it's so far. It's still a second. Still one second away. Oh, what an ending. Whew. We're getting somewhere now. Top 24 world. And less than 0.4 to go. Progress, progress, progress. Started out six seconds behind this, like an hour ago. But now I can finally start to see the light. It's like, this is 0.2 already here. PV after PV though. 56, 86 guys. How's your hand after four hours? Is there any force feedback on the joystick? Yeah, so look, if I push it to the side and I go, it insta snaps back. So it always trying to center. So yeah, there is some force on it, but it honestly feels quite okay. Because I'm not applying too much force on it. So I have to be very done for. Too much, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> Snally Snally is beaten, man. What a map. Holy, this was so difficult. God bless. Guys, two maps left. Let's move on. How does the new car feel? Fun, honestly. But quite challenging. So this is the map from the trailer. I see. Yeah, we saw this in the trailer with the cars like flipping out of control. Okay, let's see how to control this. So, smooth, smooth. Smooth. Is this just a full speed rally car map where, yeah, the tilts are pro problem? Okay, so if you do a good start, you're so gonna flip out in this turn if you don't slow down. I like this mechanic a lot though. And I mentioned this earlier, but if you're just getting in, I'll say it again. The wood, like the rally car on wood, honestly is really cool. Because the threshold for sliding is lower. But there's also this tilt going on, which is uh, honestly the most unique part of the gameplay with this car so far. 4465. Did you expect to need four hours for this? No. The other the snow car campaign was like two hour discovery or something. Maybe a bit less. I think it was two hours. Why not a regular controller? Because I prefer controlling the car with my dominant hand and with my thumb on my left hand or on my right hand for that matter but I think you get more control by using your entire hand than just a thumb so that's just my preference to here Ugh, I'm losing so much speed. <laughs> oh, 38. Okay. Actually, for every 5%. See, that's too dank again, I feel like. But if you know that one turn you slide out at is like 45%, put it at 45%. Because the reason that they made this change, right? To uh, controller stuff is... 
they don't want people with custom curves and a $300 analog device have a huge advantage versus people that don't have it and have like a $20 controller. Because there's uh, inequality there too, based on what analog device you actually have. And so following... Oh, five hundredths. Okay, insane run. <laughs> Cute. Huge PB. Following that same reasoning, I think they should think about doing the same for keyboard. And it wouldn't even make keyboard broken, I don't think. And I think at the very least, it's it's worth an experiment. If, if the analog curves are worth an experiment, I think this is worth an experiment too. Like give, just just give keyboard players custom action keys and see if it fundamentally makes four, f you could do the same, you know? You could do so that they only work for, for snow and rally car. You don't need them in stadium. Or give back the original 10 action keys, either one. It's a really good change. Yes! One map left, guys! Big PB. <laughs> one map left. It's called Power Stage. 3 minute 24 second author time. And how many people have the author time? Currently, there are eight players with the author time.